Good afternoon, Andrew. I think we can start now. The participants are joined. Okay. Thank you very much, Paul. Um, hi there. How are you all getting on? My name is Associate Professor Andrew Keating. I'm the Academic Director of uh, SEMS and UCD, which is the MSc in International Management. Um, before I start, just to introduce a couple of members here, I have uh, a number of diverse members of our SEMS team here from Richard Murphy, who's the Admissions Manager for SEMS in UCD. I have our program manager, Evelyn Wickham, who's here with us as well. Even oh. more interesting, I have Maxence Boulet, who is one of our uh, present SEMS UCD students, and uh, he can give you the unvarnished truth about the experience of studying SEMS. And also as well, I have Gillian Coghill here from uh, UCD Marketing as well. And so I'm going to present and just talk a little bit about SEMS and UCD for roughly about 10 minutes or so, so 10, 15 minutes. And then if you have any questions, if you'd like to put them in the chat bar, and then we'll try and answer them for you as well. Okay, so just to begin. So SEMS is a big global alliance of about 34 different business schools across five continents. It includes essentially uh, many schools in Europe, and most of those schools would either be the best or one of the best schools in their country. Um, and it's in the Americas, it's in uh, Australasia, so you can see that it's very well spread out. We have schools like uh, Cornell, London School of Economics, Tsinghua, Poconi, Asade, uh, HSA, um, you know, uh, really, really excellent business schools all around the world are part of this, okay? On average, it's about 1,200 1, students uh, studying uh, in SEMS at any one time around the globe. Within SEMS, because it's often about, obviously, about practice as well as a practical element as well, we also have about 70 corporate partners as well as social partners, which are part of the, the SEMS alliance as such. So that would include, you know, many companies like uh, Google, uh, Meta or Facebook, uh, McKinsey, uh, we have AT Kearney, p and and then you have a number of different financial services firms. So, you know, many big corporate entities are also part of this alliance. As well as that, as you can imagine, with 1,200 students at any one time studying every year, we have a really big alumni group that's spread all around the world. So across every single uh, continent you will find, and in every single country you will find a SEM student usually doing really well in some sort of business in that country. When you come to study SEMS, it's essentially, it's a, just over 15 months. You, you spend one semester in UCD, you'll send one semester in a partner school. So you go on exchange into one of the uh, Alliance schools. And then on top of that as well, you have to complete an eight week international internship as well as part of the program. UCD, we run, we think we run a, 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 you know, a really excellent and exceptional program. So at the present time and moment, uh, UCD sends MSc in International Management by the Financial Times is ranked number three in the world. We are also as well, we also were <clears throat> awarded by SEMS the School of the Year, which is a very prestigious prize just last year. So for 2020, 2021, uh, UCD has great pride in, able, in being able to call itself the STEM School of the Year. And just uh, as well, it's only <clears throat> for SEMS, you can only have one school per country. So UCD is the only university in Ireland that is actually allowed <clears throat> to run this program. Okay. Now, just what kind of basically the curriculum looks like. I'm not going to get into too much detail here because it is actually a fairly complicated program. So I just want to give you, if you like, a top line sort of idea of what it might look like. OK, so for the UCD SEMS program, it's 90 credits and it's split across three semesters. Semester one and semester two are the SEMS, if you like, the SEMS uh, aspects. And then semester three, if you like, is the UCD you know, is UCD only part of the program, okay? Within SEMS, you have a number of core modules that are common across all SEMS schools. Um, and that, so that means that every school has to run some variation or some type of course 
that includes things like global strategy. You also have to do global leadership. And so every SEM schools has to offer this in semester one and then in semester two. Then you have to do an applied business project. But also on top of that, you also have to do a block seminar, which happens in semester one. So for example, in UCD, typically the block seminar would be around imagining and marketing new products. And then financial statement analysis would be the other one that commonly we would run. And then on top of that as well, you have to do uh, what's known as a global citizenship seminar, which actually we have going on at the present time and moment, which is essentially about responsible management and, and it's based around sustainable development goals. And then another core aspect of SEMS that also as well, every, every student who studies SEMS, you have to do an international inter internship. And in UCD, this would start at the end of August and run up until usually around November, but it's generally, it has to be eight weeks time. So you have to do it for about eight weeks, okay? Additionally, on top of that, we also run things like skill seminars. And so skill seminars are, I suppose, about applied skills, and they could be anything like we, for example, run skill seminars with Google. So they do something on Google and it's selling and how they sell. We also run ones on communication skills, and we run that with um, a trainer who trains high level executives as well as all of our MBA students. <clears throat> we run <clears throat> one on networking and how to maximize the CV and maximize, maximize your CV and your networks and salaries. We do that with a lady by the name of Dean Murphy. We run ones on uh, team and teamwork and team building. Then as well, we run company visits and events. Um, and again, we've been very strong on this, although COVID has had a, uh, a slight impact as you would imagine on this, but uh, we've been still running them virtually. And we, you know, those visits can be, again, we do many of them with the tech companies, some with consulting, it just really depends. And again, they're virtual at the moment, but obviously as, thank goodness for all of us, the restrictions start to recede. We're hoping that by, you know, September, 2022, when we start again with a, with a new cohort, that actually we'll be able to get <clears throat> a few actual physical visits as well. And then on top of that, there's a career forum that's run and that has all those 70 corporate partners. And they are there obviously to uh, talk to the students as well as um, try and look to maybe hire or offer internships. And that is run in Budapest and all SEM students are uh, across the whole globe are invited to attend that. And then as well as that, we have a SEMS club and the SEMS club uh, organize uh, in UCD and in every other school, they, they uh, self-appoint and they organize all different types of events for their fellow students, as well as also having an international student board as well involved. So it's a, it's a really international program that's integrated and run like a big alliance and like a really big community, okay? Now, just with regards to some of the entry requirements, so for application, the minimum has to be a 2-1 honors degree. And that degree has to be in business, finance, or in economics, okay? So they are, they are the minimum expectations. You have to, and the degree has to be in business, finance, or economics. Or if it's another degree, that you have to have at least a minimum of 60 credits <clears throat> that deal specifically with business and business topics. And then on top of that, you uh, also, there are language requirements. So you obviously, you have to be fluent in English, and that is, so you have to be, at, uh, I think it's a C1 level for English for any SEMS program. So it doesn't matter if it's in Dublin or if it's in Budapest or if it's in uh, Beijing, you have to have fluency in English and you have to be, and it has to be certified. And typically that is through TOEFL or the IELTS. You have to be also then fluent in another language as well for entry. So you need a second language. And that has to be certified from at B2 level for entry. So that could be in French, it could be in German, it could be in Hindi, it could be in whatever other language it is, but it has to, you have to be fluent in another language. And then on top of that, you need an additional language, but that is, that is for exit. So, you know, for example, if you only have, you know, English and another language, 
you could take, for example, French, if, you, if that's not one of your languages and you've never studied before, you could take that at beginner A1 level and you would just need an A1 level for exit. Or if you have you know, Spanish at a B1 level, well then what you would have to do is you would have to then move up to a B2 level for exit, okay? But that's typically what it looks like, all right? And then uh, with regards to the application process, what happens then is you put the application in, it's screened by admissions to make sure that you fit uh, the requirements and you, you, you have, you're suitable for the course. And then you will be interviewed by a panel and that panel consists of me actually, and another colleague from who works on the SEMS program, but also comes from industry. And we would interview you for roughly around 30 minutes or so, okay? I would suggest to apply and apply as early as possible. So the course tends to fill quickly. So we're starting to see a lot more applications come through and we work on a rolling basis. So when we reach a certain amount, so typically we keep our program relatively small, and we try and take no more than 50 students. And typically it falls somewhere between 40 to 50 students. So we keep it, uh, we, we do intentionally keep it relatively small. So because of that, it does tend to fill very quickly. Okay. And then just to finish off, why would you actually want to do SAMS? Well, I think when you look at SAMS and the power of what it offers, first of all, it is a massive alliance where we have 34 schools across pretty much every single continent that you can think of. And it offers you entry into a fantastic alumni network. So I've been running SEMS for seven years now in, in UCD. And what I found is, is that the students, they identify very, very strongly with SEMS. So you ask, you ask a SEMS student, they will never tell you what school they come from first. They'll generally tell you that they're a SEMS student and then they'll tell you that they come from, that they, their home school is, let's say, HSA, and that their visiting school is UCD. It also tends to attract some of the best and brightest from all over the world, in particular in, from Europe. So you get to work with really, really, really bright students. Not that you haven't already, because I know that in UCD, all the students are very bright, but you, know, you get them coming from different schools from all, you know, from all over Europe and from all over the world, and they're all incredibly bright and it tends to really bring the best out of students and that it pushes them to really perform really well. You also have access to over 70 corporate partners and social partners from around the world. I would mention, for example, I don't have it here because you know rankings are great, but they do go up, they go, they go up and they go down and that they're not the key reason why you should study. But obviously UCD is very highly ranked so obviously we're number three in the world by the Financial Times, okay? So obviously that's the key measure that we use for any, any business program in Europe anyway, for sure. And also as well, it primes students for international careers. And in particular for those who might have an aspiration for senior levels, you know, as their career progresses, okay? So I'm gonna finish there and I'm going to now open it up to questions. So. Richard, if you'd like to take over, and that's it for me. So if you'd like to take over, thank you. Thanks, Andrew. That was really, uh, really good presentation. Uh, I think that gives you a very good oversight. Um, I'm actually going to just bring in um, Maxence as well. Maxence, um, if, you're, if you're still there, hi. Um, I think what I might do, just before we get to the Q&A session, just to give some a time for people to ask more questions into the Q&A box. So again, just feel free to add them into the Q&A, and we'll get to them, and we'll give a few minutes at the end. Um, but Max, Hans, just while I'm here talking to you, I suppose not the biggest questions, the most generic questions. Why, why did you choose, I suppose, SEMS first, like what Andrew was saying about the SEMS um, alliance, but also why did you specifically choose UCD? Yeah, so many thanks to the program, I think, especially at UCD. So first of all, it's the international exposure of the cohort. Like uh, we're not as... Um, big as we can say like I think other uh, in other schools so it's like quite familial we can say like it's kind of family in the in the cohort and everyone is a uh, very willing to help each other so uh, we have a really nice atmosphere within the cohort we can choose all the classes that we attend here so we have uh, also like a vast majority of uh, topics that we can engage in and then also to study in Dublin. I think it's a very good opportunity when you're interested into consulting and sales and finance, like it's becoming a central hub in Europe, especially. So you have a vast 
we we'll say a range of opportunities that arise here and the the SAMS is very close to several international companies as well so I think it's a it's a good fit if you are considering um, working in a like in an international context and uh, for top companies and I think uh, like the the atmosphere they can feel here at UCD especially I think for most of the people coming from different backgrounds it's unique and uh it's why the, the alumni can say as well uh, from the from this cohort. So I think it's the magic of UCD that you can find here. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I don't want to say, do you want to tell everyone where you come from? Because uh, it might be obvious from your name or your accent, but uh, you know, it's it's good to know that you come from another country, obviously. Yeah, exactly. So I'm French, and uh, I studied uh, for for three years. I did my undergraduate at TSCP, and it was a uh, one year per country. So it was my first year in Paris, my second in Madrid, and my third in Berlin. So I had the opportunity to see like uh, several, uh, we'll say, uh, way of teaching and uh, several administration in different countries. And I think like the one in Dublin it's a uh, very special like you're really close to the students it's not uh, to promote like uh, your work but I think it's very different and uh, it's why people like love the program is because you will not too big it's not a very big cohort so like each one can support each other and like you have great link with the students so it's uh, we appreciate it a lot and uh yeah, great and obviously you're probably aware then Andrew as well like we just uh, we just got awarded the uh the recent STEM School of the Year Award. Uh, so out of all the 34 schools, um, and I think one thing, and Evan, you can come in on this too if you want, but I think one of the things a lot of our students, Maxons, find is that um, it's a very friendly course, isn't it? I mean, it's it's uh, like people get on very well with each other. There's a big international cohort. It's quite diverse. Have you found that yourself? Exactly, yeah. Uh, like most of the people are not coming uh, from Ireland or like uh, international, like coming having an uh, international background. So it's like, a great mix I think to uh, have a good immersion into the the Irish culture and uh, the program I think we have probably like we have 50 almost 50 and I think like there is probably like 20 different or 25 nationalities so I would say it's very diverse like I don't have the precise number in mind but uh, all the people uh, in this morning class is how is coming from a different country so it's uh, you can learn a lot uh, in a small environment that is uh, very friendly and welcoming so it's one of the of the strength that uh, some programs you you wouldn't find like anywhere else like I don't want to uh, denigrate other schools, no. but in other programs, you will have more uh, people coming from the from the country that you're in, so it's less diverse as uh, this court could be. Yeah, right. right. So We're, we are actually very fortunate in in this Murphy School. We have a, a very diverse student cohort across the school, but the SEMS program is very diverse. And Maxons is correct; it is actually twenty five, I think, nationality yeah. semester in our in our class group. Changes slightly from semester to semester, but it's very <laughs> great. Yeah. And well, I think what we can add is like people are coming from not only in Europe, but like all over the world. All over so the world. The, yeah. Exactly. So it's not like European centered way of approaching problems and uh, solving, I don't know, like complex issues. It's uh, just to have the possibility to, uh, to be connected with people coming from a very diverse like uh, location in the world. So, uh, yeah. We really and, and also that we get the exchange semester students that come in, come in too. So it's you know you get that kind of blend as well. So actually, on that note, Maxons, where where did you go for your exchange, and why did you choose there? Well, yeah, Maxons had a special a special it was a special case because Maxons was was in HSA, even though he's French, and typically we would never send someone back to the home country. But because Maxons, and I, I'm not going to get into it too much, is very involved in a in a burgeoning startup, let's put it that way. Exactly, for entrepreneurship, needed like be, uh, reasons. It needed to be based in France so that we made a special allowance in this case. But typically we would send people away from their own home, own home, own home country, but because of, um, yeah, because because it was a very special case because uh, Maxence is, uh, you know, a, a very high potential, like all of our students, but in very involved in a very high potential startup, that we allowed this this one occasion that we would we would allow my sons stay in the country. I agree, and I'm like uh, I really appreciate like uh, to be in France, but I think most of the of the students are not uh, paying attention to go in the country they they have studied uh, previously, or like uh, where they come from. So they really 
they're willing to just experience another location and another culture. So like, even if they have this possibility of studying in the country, that is not part of the sense. For most of the students, it's not really what they're looking for. They really would like to experience another culture and uh, everyone is like so happy of their, of their choice, like of university exchange and uh, everyone was just, yes, uh, having a really good time uh, to spend uh, one semester abroad. And also the force, I think like one of the strengths of the program is like to be uh, handled in 15 months. So it's not very long and you can access the job market just after that. So it's a distinctive point out of the school where it's between two years and like two years and a half. That could be uh, like for home students, I mean, like it's been a very good uh, and distinctive uh, tool, we will say, like I said, it was a very good argument. Um, Max, what's been your favorite bit of the course so far? You mean the the class in the class? Yeah, well, just yeah, you know, of the whole Sam's experience, whether it be here in UCD or in, in away. I think it's random when you're speaking to uh, to Sam student, but how friendly the people are, and they they so open in the world that you can like we have Russian a Russian uh, student here and uh, we're talking a lot after class about like international context and you can uh, just evolve and the uh, like your positions can improve and it's not only having class with international people it's sharing big moments that are key in the world like especially in this moment with your Ukrainian crisis but you're sharing these kind of precious moments like apart from the class and it's uh, yeah, it's a mind-blowing experience, I would say. Like, it's, uh, you cannot find it anywhere else. So it's uh, really precious. Good. Yeah, it, it is. I, I would agree with you, Max Ellis. It is a very special, like, and I'm, I'm, I know you assume I'm going to say that because I'm running the program, but I ran other programs for many years before. And I find it a very, very special program because it's great integration um, across all levels in all schools. So all the deans of the business schools are involved, the academic, many of the academic staff in the schools are integrated in with other schools. So we work very closely together in cooperation with our partner schools to try, you know, it's the power, it's it's the power of the group rather than rather than being an individual, it's the power of the group. We learn from each other and we learn the best practices. And we're, you know, we, we try all schools try to develop their program to the best ability with obviously a local flavor, but to the standard that's expected of all the other schools as well. So it's like, you know, if you like, it brings everyone up. And then obviously, and most importantly, we have this great diverse group of students from, as you were saying, Max from all over the world. And it's just fantastic to see if you're interested. I'm, I'm, I'm always open to, to people and experiences from everywhere. And it's always really interesting for me even to teach some students because I get different I get, I, and I do it in the first semester, so Max also would be in front of you, but I get different perspectives and I get different ideas from these students who are coming from everywhere. And it's, I, I, I find it invigorating, let's put it that way. And then just to see all these students work together from all these different backgrounds and they tend to make friends for life. It's, it's, it's amazing to see. I agree. And if I can add one thing, it's like there is no clear distinction between homeschooled and host school students coming to UCD. And no. the case in most of like other uh, other schools so like people appreciate it a lot and i think it's uh, one of the um, we say the, the how can we say like the the magic of studying at ucd is like wherever you come from even like uh, i'm homeschool here like uh, at ucd i'm not whole school so uh, it's my home school and uh, at the beginning, I didn't know like which person is coming from uh, like uh, Ireland or not, and it was really mixed, and the people could connect easily. Like any other school, it's not the case. So it's uh, yeah, very. Yeah. Uh, I, very I, nice. I I never discriminate or differentiate. You know, we we, we want to teach up. We, I like you know for myself and Evelyn, and our team, we, we 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 treat all students equally. That's that's the way we look at it. So we show no preference. Although some home students don't really like you know can be a little bit upset by that, but. <laughs> We, you know, I, I think it's best to, to treat all people equally and with equal, you know, yeah. that show no preference to anyone, you know, so like that's so that's, that's why you feel comfortable working here. Like, even if you're whole school, like uh, wherever you come from, it's very easy to uh, to feel like at home. So it's a uh, it's a very good point. I, there's a question here from one of the attendees and they're asking can, if they've completed their bachelor's, bachelor's in IT, can they still pursue this course? So unless unless you have taken at least a minimum of 60 credits worth of business, 
you know, directly. So business business subjects, well then no. But if you have taken 60 credits worth of business subjects, well then yes, that would be the minimum. But yes, you, there is the potential that you could study this course. So I hope that answers your question. Is there any other questions? Yeah, there's, there's a few there. Um, I'll just actually, there's one in relation to languages. Um, I'm just saying, um, if, if, I'm, if I'm reading it right, I think you're saying fluent in another language, can you speak Japanese or Korean? Um, so well, absolutely, yeah, like Korean and Japanese, sure. So we have um, KO in Japan is part of SEMS, um, as well as the Korean uh, business school. So COBS um, from the University of Korea is also uh, part of SEMS. So I think we'd be in trouble if you if we didn't accept Japanese and Korean as languages, you know. So yes, yes, of course. Yeah, I definitely encourage uh, applications from from that part of the world for sure. So uh, <laughs> so do get your application in if you're if you're thinking about it. Um, uh, there's one one some more general one, and actually, I was a question I was going to ask Max Sons, but maybe maybe Evan or Andrew, you might be able to speak to just I suppose you kind of touched on in your presentation, but what kind of careers or jobs? I mean, it is very varied, isn't it, Andrew? Yeah. Look. Many of the students who come in, they, and Max Hans, you can correct me, but many, many, and this is my experience of running this for seven years, so I have, I suppose, a slightly longer view of this. Many of them want to work in consultancy, and so, uh, and many of them want to be consultants, but it's not just consultants, it's our, in Ireland, it's consultants internationally. So you'll always find a high percentage of SEM students, not just in UCD, but across the network, end up working in consultancy. Obviously, Ireland, we're, you know, we're very lucky that we're also a technology hub for many of the major tech companies in the world. So you'll also find, you know, uh, you know, a fair number of students going into tech related jobs, you know, on the business side. So not necessarily on the, on the programming side, but on the business side to many, many of the major, major companies like that. And then you get, I suppose, a spread, as Maxon said, across all different areas and all different, you know, functions, whether that is into finance, we also get quite a lot going into, you know, FMCG or CPG, so fast moving consumer good or consumer packaged goods companies, whether that is the likes of, you know, P&G or Beersdorf or if it's Beersdorf, I can't pronounce their name, or uh, even outside of our own sales network, places like Nestle or Unilever, you'll always get students going in there. So there's a really diverse range of careers. But what I do think it really opens is it just opens to me anyway when I look at SEMS I think it opens a world of opportunity to people who study the that and that's that just it just opens it really just opens doors it really opens the world to you and in particular in Europe so it's not that well known in Ireland but actually Maxence again you can correct me but particularly in Germany in France it would be a pretty well-known program that SEMS would have a very strong reputation and be very well known would I be correct in saying that Maxence? Yeah, it is. Like uh, most of the people you write are applying into consulting because uh, it's very well known, like uh, especially you have SEMS corporate partners that are yeah. top leading consulting firms. So it, we won't say it's easy, but it's easier to access to uh, entry level positions. But you do not close doors to go to another, like if you were, I don't know, yeah. if you would like to work in another industry, like it's not closed doors, definitely. It's not uh, engaging into this program, allow you only to go in consulting. It's uh, like position that you can apply for and you have access to it. But if you would like to work in marketing or sales, it's also very uh, accessible, we will say. And um, it's the range of uh, position that you have access to. I think it's very broad and uh, especially in the, yeah, as you said before, like the, the locations, it's very broad as well. It's not only in, uh, in Europe or in Ireland, it's wherever in the world. Like most of the people I know are engaging into Middle East, in Africa, in Asia or in the US. So it's like in the, all over the world. It's not only like, in, uh, as you said, in, in, in our Europe. And I, I, I think it's time now, Richard. I think it's just like, yeah. so um, is it time to call? It is, yeah. We just, I just, it's pretty much time up now. So um, can I just say one, one last message from myself, just in regards to admissions, obviously, if anyone's watching today and thinking about making an application, as Andrew mentioned, you need to get that application in ASAP because we do this on a rolling basis. And we've had, a, a, as Andrew, you know, you've had many rounds of interviews already. Have, and a yeah. lot of people have accepted their places. Um, generally, once you get offered an exams program, you, you take it. Um, so it's... Um, Really, we're, we're probably only going to have a few more rounds of interviews left, so I would strongly encourage anyone to make an application or reach out to myself. My email is richard.murphy at ucd.e. You can contact us at admissions, which is smurfit.admissions at ucd.e. All that is up on the website anyway. 
So uh, I want to say briefly thanks to Maxence for joining us today. Maxence is actually one of our student ambassadors. You can also actually contact Maxence through our website. You can actually ask a student on our website. So Maxence is an excellent student ambassador. Thank you, Maxence, for helping out so much with that. I also want to say thanks to Elvin for joining and obviously to you too, Andrew. Have you any last things you want to say, Andrew? No, not at all. <clears throat> Just uh, hopefully I'll see some of you on the SAMS program. Okay, so thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Goodbye. Safe.